for one thing, uh, Part 135 designations have geographical limitations to them. Uh, for example, if you have a commercial setting, I, I don't know how many of your listeners have ever wondered why, say, a Lufthansa uh, flight cannot go, say, from Frankfurt through New York through Hong Kong. Uh, the reason for that is because you cannot, that would, that would violate cabotage rules, which are really a worldwide set of regulations where you, you have to go either point to point within the country of your flag, if Lufthansa's German flag, then point to point within Germany, or point to point between Germany and one other country, but it can't go to multiple countries, or it cannot fly, say, point to point within the United States, a foreign flagged country. And those, those um, restrictions then apply to 135, whereas in part 91, it's a little bit more lenient. Um, as such, uh, if, for example, I'm in Canada, I'm not permitted to use the US registered aircraft to fly point to point within Canada, taking paying passengers um, on charter. That's, that's illegal. It's not, um, it, it's not permitted. That's interesting and kind of seems a bit bizarre at first. What's the rationale behind that rule? I have no idea politics. <laughs> I, I think it was a way, it was a protectionist way for flagged carriers to, uh, to keep their turf uh, protected from unfair competition.